Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a breakfast sandwich using your Hamilton Beach sandwich maker. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just get your ingredients. So you can have any ingredients you want to. In my case, I'm going to do an English muffin, I'm going to do a frozen sausage patty, and I'm going to do an egg. You can do cheese, you can do lunch meat, anything you want. First thing we need to do is plug in our Hamilton Beach sandwich maker. When we plug it in, it's going to start heating automatically. This preheat button will turn green whenever it's preheated, and then we'll put our ingredients in. Okay, our sandwich maker is done preheating. You can see that I've got a power button on and now I've got a preheat button that's lit up. So I am ready to start cooking. So the Hamilton Beach cooker has two different sections. You basically got a bottom section here and then you've got a top section. What you're gonna wanna do is put your bottom piece of bread in first and then whatever meat or cheese you've got, you're gonna put in second. And then you're going to close to where you've got your top section. Your top section is where you're going to want to pour in your egg, or in my case, I'm just going to crack an egg and put it in without scrambling. And then you're going to put your last piece of bread on top and then close the sandwich maker. So now we're ready to start cooking our sandwich. I'm going to set the timer for five minutes and we'll let it cook. We'll see what our sandwich comes out looking like. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. In the last minute, you'll get a countdown timer for the whole minute. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that, uh, but it'll also make a noise letting you know that the timer has gone off, so you don't have to sit there and watch it. You're gonna hear this. You can press any button to stop it. Now, what we're gonna to wanna to do is you've got a lever over here on the right-hand side. You're just gonna slide it. What that's gonna do is let the top of the sandwich go down to the bottom of the sandwich. And now, all we have to do is open up our sandwich maker and our sandwich is perfectly cooked and ready to eat. Now it's going to be hot, so you might want to use a knife or something like that to peel it off. But I've got my breakfast sandwich. It took me a little over five minutes to make total time. In times of actual work that I had to do, it took me about 15 seconds. You can unplug it. You can see that the cleanup on the sandwich maker is minimal. You'll have some crumbs, maybe a little bit of egg spillage that you'll have to clean, but it's really easy. Anyway, I hope the video helps. Enjoy your sandwich maker.